Hello and welcome again. On this episode of Dine In, I'm making grilled curry lamb kebabs. These tender bite-sized cubes of meat are packed with a wide spectrum of flavors that are guaranteed to saturate your taste buds. So let's get right to it. Now if you're in a hurry, you can easily use some store-bought curry powder, but I decided to make a very basic one from scratch. The process is super simple and certainly worth the time. All we need to do is toast a couple of spices, and the three most common ones in any curry are coriander, cumin, and turmeric. Toasting will help release the aromatic oils and extract the maximum flavor. Use a bone dry skillet over medium heat and stir constantly for two to three minutes. Also, ensure that the skillet has a very smooth surface. Turmeric powder is incredibly fine and will lodge itself tightly into any nook and cranny. When your kitchen begins smelling like an Indian restaurant, transfer the contents to a spice grinder and blend to a fine powder. Once that's done, you can begin seasoning the lamb. I'm using roughly a pound of boneless leg meat cut into two inch cubes and trimmed of excess fat. As a general rule, I typically add salt and pepper separately from other seasonings. I can't express just how easily it is to over salt things when it's all mixed with the entire batch of dry rub. With the curry powder in, give it a thorough mix, and I would definitely recommend using a glove for this. Turmeric stains for days. Next in goes a cup of plain yogurt. Greek yogurt should be fine too. This is going to really mellow out the harshness of the dry rub, yet add a subtle creamy sourness. The lactic acid will also tenderize the meat a bit and help it keep it moist. Lamb turns tough very quickly after being cooked, so the yogurt is an important additive. And being the scatterbrain I am, I almost forgot to add my favorite ingredient, garlic. Four large grated cloves will do, and a splash of fresh lime juice for an added kick. Once again, give that a thorough mix and chill in the fridge for 24 hours. When you're ready to cook, skewer the chunks evenly while trying not to stab yourself with the pointy end. I usually do about seven pieces max. That's enough for a serving and gives the meat enough space to cook evenly. Over on the grill, I'm using about three quarters of a chimney of lump charcoal. If you want that authentic Indian char flavor, a gas grill is just not gonna cut it. With the grate nice and hot, lay the kebabs over the direct flame. After five to seven minutes, they should be ready to flip. I'm looking for that deep brown color with little crispy ends of char. Another five minutes and they should be done. So with a bunch of juicy kebabs straight off the grill, I felt ambitious and decided to try making garlic butter flatbreads for the first time ever. I say flatbreads because trying to pass this off as naan would get me into too much trouble. And though I have absolutely no recollection of the ingredient amounts, at the very least, I decided to show you the actual cooking process. This is a perfect application for a cast iron skillet. Cast iron is made for open flame outdoor cooking. All you have to do is ensure there's enough fat in the pan and nothing will stick. And within a few minutes, I am pleased to see the dough bubbling and forming a crispy crust. One flip and another few minutes and it's time to serve. There's really no wrong way to eat this, and you should definitely experiment with different sauces and vegetables. I chose to just keep things simple with a handful of fresh mint. And now that I'm thoroughly starving, I'm going to swallow this whole. So until next time, have a good night and keep safe.